Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the West, more specifically Du Bois, Wyoming, and I've just stumbled across this, the National Bighorn Sheep Center. From what I'm gathering, this is a, uh, a museum dedicated to the bighorn sheep, and I think it's very rare that you find a museum dedicated to a singular animal. Now, I don't know much about bighorn sheep, but I would say uh, if there's a whole museum dedicated to them, they must be pretty impressive. So let's check this place out. Follow me. You guess the entire name is the National Bighorn Sheep Interpretive Center. We have a statue of a bighorn sheep there wearing his patriotic handkerchief. And look at that. Doorknobs are bighorn sheep horns. These are all the United States bighorn sheep. Looks like there's four varieties the desert bighorn sheep it's the rocky mountain bighorn sheep i guess this is the one that you would find in this area then these are canadian sheep the stone sheep and the doll sheep which is in alaska here's a replica of the bighorn sheep with the biggest horns those are pretty mighty it's not all sheep in this museum they got some grizzly bears Here's a cross section of two skulls. This is a domestic sheep. This is a bighorn sheep. It's saying that the bighorn sheep has developed a much thicker skull. You can see they don't have much of a thickness at all, but they have a thickness of their skull so they can ram each other and bash heads together. Some hands on, horn touching. There's a little fox up there. It's an interactive map showing you where the sheep migrate to. Winter range. See the little lights light up. Listen to the heartbeat of these different animals. Of course, you got a bighorn sheep. You also got human. Let's listen to the human first. How the bighorn sheep compare. It's got a faster heartbeat. This is how much hay, or I guess uh, dried grass. Is dried grass hay? It's the same thing, maybe. But this is how much a bighorn sheep eats every day. You can look at Sheep Mountain right here. They got some baby sheep up there. You know, so there's a little little mouse. Talks about the depletion of the bighorn population. I wonder what caused that. Oh, yeah, that's right, guns. I guess apparently uh, people were determined to turn all their horns into fancy swan carvings. In this case here, we can feel their toes right there. Tickle, tickle. Nope, here's a little tiny miniature version of Sheep Mountain. You can see the real Sheep Mountain right there. Due to certain events occurring in the world right now, we cannot see what a bighorn sheep's fur feels like. You can see there's two bighorn sheep and Engaged in battle up there, smashing their thick skulls together. So our bows made out of bighorn sheep horns. Here's some fuzzy boots made out of bighorn sheep. These are Native American tools made from the horns of bighorn sheep. There's a, a rattle, 
It's a knife. You can see it's got the stone blade on it. A powder horn. And a ladle. Big horn sheep needles. And some hair brushes. Saying here that after hunting big horn sheep, the Native Americans would leave one of their heads in a tree as a spiritual offering honoring the animal's spirit. And look at this. Got a bighorn sheep quilt. That's interesting. It's a uh, sheep's horn carved into an eagle. Oh, I didn't even notice that big hawk circling above. You can see this coyote scavenging the dead sheep remains. The sheep right here is running away from this vicious mountain lion. These are all different types of bighorn sheep from around the world. This one's from Siberia, Mongolia, Afghanistan, Iran. I guess I didn't realize they were pretty much everywhere in the world. warm right here. Let's replace it right there. Don't know how long we're supposed to leave it. Oh, I'll leave a little thermal sheet print. So excellent! An informative exhibit on the bighorn sheep here in Wyoming. Maybe if we get lucky we'll spot one on the road. laundromat has a cool sign. It's like a donkey stealing the clean laundry while a woman chases it with a broom. But that pales in comparison to the fact that the entrance to the laundromat is a giant cow skull. So we'll take a peek inside the laundromat here. I do love these classic Old school laundromats. Make sure to empty your pockets before using the machines. Look at all these wonderful choices for different laundry soaps. We have a shower area here in the laundromat. And look at this old school vending machine that gives out different toiletries. Look at that on the window. You got a little uh, little lady bathing in a wash tub. It's a car wash connected to the laundromat. The sign here says car wash open, um, but I don't know if that's exactly the words they're looking for. It doesn't seem uh, all that open. Now while we're in Dubois, um, I wanted to stop and pay homage to another one of Wyoming's native creatures, that being the jackalope. We're here at this gas station right here which has a giant jackalope exhibit see the sign right here says that there's a giant jackalope inside you can see this giant jackalope on the outside of the store it's actually wearing a mask that is very very responsible there mr jackalope This gas station is known as the Jackalope Travel Stop. And inside, it contains the world's largest Jackalope exhibit. I can't wait to see it. Touch it. Believe it. Love that painting of a jackalope right there. Oh, look at that. That's an interesting jackalope. Made out of those dark feathers. Look at this massive mounted jackalope head right here. You can see how 
insanely large that is. I'd love to pet it, but it says, pretty please do not touch, pet, or fondle me. Some different jackalope related items in this case. There's a jackalope beer koozie, jackalope Christmas ornament, two jackalopes getting married, a variety of jackalope pins, and a crazy jackalope skull hat. Look at that disco ball jackalope hanging from the ceiling. A lot of little jackalope trinkets. Ooh, look at that creepy jackalope skull right there. Oh, we have a two-headed jackalope. A creepy jackalope headdress. What is that? Some sort of voodoo doll jackalope back there. All these tiny little jackalopes that you can actually take home with you. See that fancy white jackalope. You had to have this one. Yeah, that's a pink, pink jackalope right there. Now this one's made out of like little metal studs. It's all sorts of jackalope art right here. That jackalope right there is pretty cool. This one's like made out of old rags or something. But all the different jackalope pictures up there. And there's a jackalope hunting permit. I actually have one of these at home. Oh my gosh. I think that may be the world's most vicious jackalope right there. Look at his snarling teeth. Maybe he's rabid. Now above the donut case, they have what is called a jackalope pheasant. Often seen these referred to as wolper tangers. Yeah, absolute amazing collection of jackalope art. Look at that jackalope right there. Look how insane he looks. A little quilted jackalope. Above the door there has a little jackalope band. Are they playing some horns, a harp? I actually have some work by this artist in my bunker. And up there, I don't know, is that like a big horned sheep jackalope hybrid? Jackalope's wearing a tie up there. Yeah, there's so many jackalopes in here. These different styles, these different plush jackalopes. It says, beware of attack jackalope. When you call that an attackalope? But seriously, these things are horrifying. That looks like some sort of demon golfer. That's got weird duck feet. All right, what we got up here? We got a squirrel riding a jackalope. And then I think this jackalope's sawing some wood. It's a little lumber jackalope, if you will. There's a jackalope playing the bagpipes. And I don't know, this, I guess this is a hunter, a hunting jackalope. He's also he's smoking. Please do not constantly play with shoot guns. I guess you're allowed to play with them and shoot them, but just don't do it constantly. That's it's highly irritating. Got some little plushy jackalopes for kids to take home. This mural here on the wall, Du Bois, Wyoming. Jackalopes are real. A wide variety of jackalope themed t-shirts. You have the Obama jackalope and then jackalope riding a bike under a rainbow. Here we have Andy Warhol jackalope. We have Stoner jackalope. It's the Kiss jackalope. Some sort of sports team, the Odessa Jackalopes. There's a UFO Jackalope combo. I really like that. And then I guess the Playboy Jackalope. And here is the main event of the Jackalope exhibit. This giant fur-covered jackalope. That's a good jackalope, isn't it? Yes, you can hop on me. All right, let's go for a jackalope ride.
lifelong dream to ride aboard Mighty Jack. The NRA Jackalope and the, uh, I guess that is a Donald Trump Jackalope, I'm not fake news. There's a Jackalope couple right there. You always see the female without the antlers for some reason. If you look closely up there, you can see different varieties of Jackalope milk. Yep, in that little chest freezer. Okay. Not, right never, right I never tasted that. Jackalope milk before. Right. Now coming here to Wyoming, one of the one things that I wanted, I wanted a true jackalope experience. You see jackalopes different places around the country, but Wyoming is considered the official home of the jackalope. And I do feel like this, this gas station here, this display here, this is the ultimate jackalope experience. I, I, have, not, I have not seen anywhere in the country a jackalope experience in depth and, and as exciting as this, sorry. Sorry, Waldrug. Waldrug also gives a very good jackalope experience, but I don't know if it matches up to the level of jackalope fun in this particular store. If you'd like to see other places I've been, please check the interactive map in the description of this video. It'll show you all the different places I've been, and you can tell me where I need to go next. Uh, if you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying an enamel pin. Those are in the Etsy shop in the description. If you'd like to donate $3, giant cement truck going by. If you'd like to donate three or more dollars to Patreon a month, I will send you a postcard monthly. But until next time, this one's in the bag.